this again. I uh, just started this stream a second ago and um, forgot to turn the sound down so I could hear myself, which is really annoying. So, sorry to anybody who actually has to listen to me, it's terrible. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a very, very sad day today. It's the last episode in the Let's Play Broken Sword The Shadow of the Templar series by Completely Naked Gaming. That's me, by the way. Um, also, chat BS on Twitch, but uh, I didn't get the same names. I don't know why. I know I should, but just get over it, guys. Seriously. Okay, so um, it's going to be very sad today because it's the last, last episode. But fuck it, let's have fun anyway. Let's just do it. Okay, so we've just got to Scotland. Looks beautiful. Scotland does look beautiful in real life as well. A if you've not been to Scotland, you should go. Into the tower. Weather's freaking terrible, but... A large arch led into the tower. I think he wants me to go into the tower. Again, on the, um, the director's cut, there's... I think there's more puzzles at this part. I'm not entirely sure. I think there is. I know there's a puzzle here. As you can see big stone slab over the door or is the door whatever I tried pushing the panel but wasn't surprised when it failed to move hmm, good so we uh, we've got a little spinning wheel here the handle turned easily and the larger wheel began to revolve and then he broke it damn then the handle came off in my hand you douche. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. Well, there we are. Look, we've been here five minutes and already started trashing the place. I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Why would you take that? Seriously. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. It was caked with soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. See, now that's what I was looking for. With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Beg your pardon? Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. Whew. Was there anything else? I didn't find anything. No, but there's rubble there, so you might as well pick that up. You have just picked up some rubbish. The pipe could have been anything from 50 to several hundred years old. Right, okay. But anyway, so we've got, obviously, the important bits here are the, uh, the cogs and spindle. So, if we have a look around, we could try and fix this, but we just took the cog and spindle out of there, so it's clearly not going to be that. But if you look over here, we've got a statue, and in his mouth, there's a little hole. Examining the demon more closely, I realized something about its face. It was a clever illusion. No matter where I stood, the eyes weren't looking at me. There was a simple reason. The demon didn't have any eyes. There we are, see? So there's holes. So let's, let's give him some eyes. Give him some cog eyes. The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye into place. Now I do just have to say that um, I am supposed to be working right now. I've got the got the many many work phones here, so uh, if they ring, I'll just mute it and keep playing. Um, but I apologize. Unfortunately, sometimes people want me to actually do some work, which is fucking ridiculous. I pushed the handle into the demon's mouth. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. Yeah. Go, George. Go, George. Oh. Why do you look so surprised? <laughs> Ding! Okay, winning smile. As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Bum, bum, bum. 
So I got shitloads of gunpowder. Definitely gunpowder, but it had solidified over the centuries it had lain here undisturbed. We got some fire. No, Jacques. What? Leave that torch right where it is. In case you ever notice, the crypt is full of gunpowder. So what? Don't you tr It's not a question of trust. No? You think I'm a jerk, don't you? Don't be silly, George. And keep your voice down. I thought I heard something. Like chanting. Okay, well we'll go and check out the chanting. Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. What do you suppose they're doing? It wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, yes. what are we waiting for? Shh. <laughs> yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's get in on that satanic sex ritual. Let's do it. Let's chop off some chicken heads and have sex. That's what they do, right? Will you look at that? Her ass? Baphomet. Oh. Labino was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. You're just guessing now. Oh, look who it is. Rosso! Why is it double dealing treacherous? On uh -oh. the contrary. Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. It's Mustache McGee. Quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. You're gonna shoot us anyway. Well, there's a sword. Doesn't look broken, though, does it? Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. It's fine. It looks absolutely here fine. before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Ah. Right. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet. Baphomet. We salute and pledge our obedience to you. Hmm. It's very enthusiastic, eh? I salute you, Gatekeeper of the Temple. Seven centuries ago, our. Now Sorry. We prepare I should let this one play through, I suppose. Here's the end. Weird against new enemies. As the tired millennium dies, and this world looks for new leaders, we shall not fail. Okay. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the red cross of the Templar. See, these guys don't seem that bad. They're just trying to get people together, you know. Looks like a really freaky sex doll. Faces or not. Oh, is that one of my members of staff back? Nope, false alarm, it's the bin men. Okay, let's get to the action. Let's do this. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us 
with respect. See, they respect but me. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Yeah, the hash hashin. Both of us want a better world. What we're doing? Fortunately, no neck. harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Yeah. Join us, George. Join us in the true brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. True. Wait. Brothers? What about Marquet? <sighs> what about Pegram and Klausner? He's always got to pick holes in things, brothers, isn't he? Only as failures. Three men dead, and you don't give a damn. George, you know that sacrifices are necessary. Yeah, George, get and your head out your ass. Great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Oh, George. I had great hopes for you. C'est la guerre. Eglonde. Kill him. Finally, someone's gonna try and kill somebody. That's it. Oh, backhander. Don't fuck with the mustache. Guy looks like a walrus. All right. Somebody do something. There we go. Good shot. Oh, well, well, now you're dead. Take them. Kill them. They will not escape. Well, I beg to differ because there's been several Broken Sword games after this, so clearly we are going to escape. What happened there? They just disappeared into nothingness. Well, well. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, which one am I? It's going to be a pleasure. Killing the pair of you. Oh, Shush. we met Nika. What are we going to do? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the fire on the gunpowder. Come on, Nico. We're leaving. You fools. You cannot escape us. You want to bet? Gido! But master, the powder, that powder, is from the English Civil War. You, ooh, he's over 300 years old. I thought it was over. Nico had one last trip. Finally, Nico pulls or her finger out her ass. A handbag, to be exact. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's going to work. Now, how obviously certain characters throughout this game appear to have died, or have died, or whatever, how some of them survive is beyond me. Somebody needs to give Nico a sandwich, he's looking a bit anorexic. Go on, George. They're gonna tap that ass. You know, you'll never be able to write your story now. I don't care. I've got what I want. Cock. Just tell me one thing, George. Is our life together always going to be this crazy? Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, there we go. A big thank you to Charles and everybody that was involved in, uh, in making the game. Making all of the games, in fact. Make sure that you pick up Broken Sword 5 if you haven't already. Um, if you have picked up Broken Sword 5, make sure that you've uh, obviously got the HD packs and stuff. It looks a lot better since the update. 
um, and obviously make sure that you get both parts as well. Um, I know that some people have thought that it was just half a game, it's not, it just came out in two parts, it's episodic. It, it's sort of, it's just two parts. Um, but yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, and um, it's been emotional, it's been emotional. It's been fun, it's been emotional, I've, had, I've really loved it. Um, now, if there's any games that you want me to play, anything in particular you want me to play, send me a message on, on Twitch, uh, you can find me on Twitch at chatbs, um, or on YouTube, you can, you can obviously leave a comment there. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch now, my YouTube channel is Completely Naked Gaming, without the G on the end, so it's Completely Naked Gaming, like that. Um, it was a typo when I set up the URL, and now I'm stuck with it because you can't change it twice. YouTube's shit since it became part of Google. But, well, it's not shit, it's just that, that bit shit. You know, the rest of it's still fine. Um, that's it, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want me to play next uh, as a proper playthrough of an entire game. You will see me picking up games um, from time to time and just doing Let's Play videos of, uh, you know, retro games, of sports games, of first-person shooters, of everything. That's just as and when. They're not. They're not necessarily a complete walkthrough. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want me to play, and I'll do it. Thank you for watching, and uh, maybe we'll do Broken Sword 2 soon. Now that's actually talking about Broken Sword 2, which make sure you pick it up. I recommend you play the director's cut of this and the remastered version of 2, um, just because the director's cut's got more content and uh, the remastered just looks better on modern day PCs. I, I love them both, but uh, you know, both the original and, and the new releases. But make sure you pick them up. You can get them on you know, iOS, Android, pretty much anything you want to play it on, you can play it on. Um, so that's it. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye bye.